What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off our last time we had a couple of naval battles that freed up our docks massively and we destroyed French naval power, although we must continue our raiding efforts against their dockyards uh, to prevent them from regenerating more ships. But first I want to have some money, or want to get ready to uh, fix Horatio Nelson's fleet, a very veteran fleet it is now, Added together, or added by the 122 gun ship of the line, HMS. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, oh no. Where was, the, what was the name of that 74 gun ship of the line? If you guys have read the Sharp books, uh, the, uh, the ship they are after is the Revenant, which is a French 74 gun fire, 74 gun ship. So I'd like to capture this in my campaign. So it's the HMS Revenant. Cool. Ah, oh, so, right, so we're researching. Public schooling. No, you're going to research. Um, division of Labour. I prefer the general flats wealth generating bonuses rather than specific ones. That, I've not spent a lot of money on my farms. Yeah, and that port blockade isn't a problem. Cool, right. Let's hit end turn. Yes, one of those fleets will deploy. Oh! Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. It's a frigate versus the merchantmen just auto resolve. Oh wow, this could be pretty frustrating. Hey, at least we've made them, we forced them to move away from my the rest of my trade ships. But this is why we have to have a navy in position to deal with these threats as they arise. So my fleet, which is just pretty much a bunch of frigates and fifth rates, they can go up and deal with that fleet, leaving Nelson freer to range south and try to find more capital ships. Then once uh, Portsmouth's been rebuilt, my fleet that's mostly fifths and frigates, I might add some fourth, fourth rates just to bulk them out a bit with a bit more firepower. Because um, right now our trade is our lifeline, and that's the one thing we can't risk losing. And um, so even with a few a few leaking French warships, it can really stabilise our efforts for a couple of turns. See now this is a Spanish navy ship. They're starting to raid. There you go. The Spanish navy is starting to pivot north into the Atlantic in response to the loss of the French. God, it was one set of trade ships was sank, and that was it. Okay, so it might send these guys up to... No, I'm not going to send those guys. Send those guys up to hit Julien Marie. And send this merchant up to tag that trade region. Boom, 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 boom. Let's try to recapture a merchant, merchantman and take a frigate back. Good. To my merchantman. Oh no, I captured their fifth rate, not why. I destroyed my merchantmen. So let's make them get into dock in Glasgow. Ooh, so let's upgrade Glasgow to a dockyard as well. And let's recruit some more merchantmen in response to that. Let's take Nelson and his fleet, knock out this Spanish ship. Is it just a frigate? God, we lost a ship. I don't know which one. Oh, it was the Revenant. We lost the Revenant. First auto resolve out. We've gotten the game, the San Bernardo. Well, the next French 74 we capture will also be named um, the Revenant. So let's get them to there. Let's get them back to Bristol. Now are they recruiting again? They aren't. But they are, so let's take this navy, which granted it's a bit knackered, let's sell them into oh, no okay, hold on, hold there. You can't go anywhere because you just got caught. So you and the Corvette, you can go in. Let's send William Cornwallis in to interrupt that production. Let's leave him there for now. 
Good. So the next turn, I can, oh, next turn I'll sail my army down to land at Amsterdam. And I'll liberate it as a friendly Holland. So this hidden turn. So I'm acutely aware that I'm burning through turns quite quickly. And I have set this to uh, world domination. So that's not something I quite want to do. It's the Prussians, the French. The French haven't really been making major moves in the in continental Europe. Though to be honest, it's actually quite tempting to take my army and land it towards to threat oh, down to threaten Madrid. Hello, it's the Russians. What are you up to? It's the Portuguese. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me, Portugal. Worry about the Spanish that are on your doorstep that hate you. There you go. No! <laughs> okay, so think. City besieged Gibraltar. Crack on. Let's see, gained. Asian recruited. Let's get you into Oxford. Hobble Road, pretty good. So, uh, farms and manufactories and dockyards and musket manufactory? Nope. Classical University, minus two unhappiness. So I think I might get the Opera House upgrade to get plus two happiness to break in preparation to, uh, to offset the minus happiness from the research building and plus eight town wealth is pretty good. And upgrade the market to a merchant house, which is just a nice money making venture. I could still upgrade you, but I'm not gonna. So let's get my merchantmen back up in position. They can stay there for now. They're actually not, well, they're a bit knackered, they're not crippled. Ooh. Have a market. I'm not going to do much recruiting in Ireland, I don't think. So are you. Okay. I've got no money again to recruit line infantry. Let's have a little scout. So, what's the army like in Amsterdam? A full stack. Militia, line infantry, okay. Let's get you back to Portsmouth. So I'll probably like to recruit some more a few more units of line infantry. And we have a dry dock, so full range of ships, including HMS Victory. Sweet. Let's hit and turn. Oh. I meant to cancel their movement, but say la vie. But yes, the problem is right now I've not got Absolute buckets of money being churned out. Hmm. Ah, another French frigate. My Scottish fleet will go and deal with them. So while the Bavarians, while the Batavians haven't been that much of a pain in the backside, um, it would be nice to have to fight an actual land battle for once, rather than. Um, the naval ones we've done so far. And I, nah, would I capture them? Or would I? No, I would definitely capture them. This one's expecting me. No, I said when I set out to the campaign, small nations like um, Belgium and the Netherlands, I would liberate. Yeah, no, you have fun with that. I'll be coming back for that, you know. Hello? Their fleets are... There is unused land yeah. I know it's a victory condition, so I can't... Or is it a victory condition? I can't ignore it. So you, Lucien Champy, George Elphiston, take him out. It's a 32 gun frigate. Wow, we lost a lot of ships for that. Then you are probably 
Uh, go back to go back to Glasgow and get a good bit of uh, fixing up. Let's get my merchantman to fill out some of these trade zones again. And before I do anything, recruit these three units of line. Okay. Nelson's column forts I don't really need. Let's get a road and let's get a uh, magistrate for Scotland. Plus 10% bonus to tax. Oh, I don't want plus 10% bonus or plus 8 to town wealth. I'll have plus 8 to town wealth, please. Clearances are built. Still could upgrade. Dublin needs more upgrades in general. I need to buy upgrades for ports. God, there's lots of things you can buy here. Yeah, and go on. I've got nothing else to build. I'm going to build the cantonment in Scotland. Okay, dokie, let's go one more turn. One more turn so I can get till my navy's ready. Till my army's ready, sorry. Oh, I forgot to take out that um, single Spanish frigate. Oh no, poor Russia. Feel free to blockade away, France, because Nelson's coming to get you. But yeah, it'd be interesting to fight an actual battle, because I've not fought a Napoleon battle for a, an awful long time, but I can't imagine that the, thing, that the things you do have changed that dramatically. It's good old Russia. Russia must be a weird campaign to play in this game. I don't know. I suppose the principles would be the same. Spend lots of money on um, upgrading your infrastructure. Probably knock out Sweden because it's less of a pain to defend in this game. <laughs> to defend against, sorry. Um, and probably push against the Ottomans. Don't worry about the Austrians. And then eventually worry when the uh, the French have come storming across Central Europe to come and get you. It is very impressive what Napoleon managed to do. I mean, he buggered it up, but, you know, can't blame him. So many people have done it before him. Oh, so, oh I've got a bear in mind. There's that Spanish... Uh, there's the Santissima Trinidad somewhere on the map. It's probably around there somewhere. Yeah, good. You clear off. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help Fine. the population to grow have over time. Spin them around to here there. Gloria. Oh, Your ours now. So this is why it's good to have the firepower, because right now the problem is is that my ships are equivalent, so I am losing them. Okay, cool. So you are now ready to embark Arthur Wellesley against this knackered fleet, and let's drop him off on the edge of this peninsula up here. And then let's get you the hell out of Dodge. Three on a Oh no, they're gonna get they're gonna get stomped by that Batavian by the Batavian fleet, if it exists. Yep, nothing to do because they blockaded my port, so I haven't got a chance to uh, upgrade or to get any income. Nation destroyed the Kingdom of Italy. So the Austrians that finished them off. Good, well, B. Decks still going on. Anything, anything new I can do in diplomacy? Kingdom of Naples? Let's trade. Kingdom of Sicily? Let's also trade. Go to as many people as possible. Swedish Confederation, Kingdom of Spain and the French Empire. The Batavians. Come on, Ottomans. Let's peace out. I'm definitely not going to ask for panic peace from either of them. Cool, but I'm going to get ready to fight this battle next turn um, but let's hit end turn 
I could be about to get right stomped. Because while I'm assuming the principles aren't any different to um, Empire, I couldn't say for certain. You see, I'd like to get to a point where I've got enough of a navy just to sit in their ports and, and just effectively blockade all of France. I really should be interrupting their build queues more than I am doing, but it's because I'm kind of adopting a reactionary stance. Like, I'm not really... Um, what's the word? Well, I'm not being offensive. I'm not taking the fight to them. I'm not raiding their ports, and I'm being defensive, so that's why it's causing me a lot of grief. Probably more money than it would otherwise cost having to keep fixing my fleets rather than you know if i'm sat in their fleet they can't if i'm sat in their dock they can't do anything about it they've come out to meet me in the field they've got lots of militia thornius grab grave well fingers crossed i'm not too terrible at it in this game so let's fight the dutch so i'm gonna as a test case i'm gonna i would deploy in Empire to see if that's a good or a bad thing to do in this game. <laughs> Me theory? I don't think it is. Oh, so they've all deployed. Well, they've come to attack me, so they can come and come and get some. This is a nice little hill for some artillery. Anastarth cast a shot right from the off. Because we are in civilized times. And then let's take this artillery and probably put you about here. Damn this weather, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Okay, that's not a bad mix. Let's deploy two units of good line on the left, two units of good line on the right. And to be honest, I probably want to deploy... So let's, de let's deploy my Highlanders on the right. King's German Legion, deploy them on the left. And let's take the first light foot. Because I don't really know how to so I know in this game what you can do is you, well supposedly anyway, you can do this. You can do, this actually works in Napoleon, whereas it doesn't in Empire. No, I'm going to put them where I normally put them. Put them on a flank, harass and advance up the flank, I think. So as these guys have light infantry, they can, and let's group them up with the right flank detachment. You only need one unit of light dragoons. Which look brilliant. And they're all sergeants. Because <laughs> the left is slightly weaker, technically. I'm going to put some dragoons in these trees. You are not hidden. There we go. And let's put Arthur Wellesley. You see the, you see the tree? That's, the duke, that's where the duke will be. Where is he? Where's the cheeky little scamp? Okay, so it's him then. <laughs> Hello. That's a bit curious, because where was he? There was a guy that had a... Well, there we go, that's it. So this is the, probably the bugler, I guess, because he's got a different horn. He's got a different helmet. But yeah, let's... Let's fight! Not firing. They're out of range. They are out of range. So what's on the flank? Second light dragoons. Uh, where's my light foot? You can't deploy stakes, but you're hidden. Are you hidden? No, you're just in light. You're just in the in the period. You are in skirmish skirmish order. There we go. My artillery have opened up because theirs has probably entered range. Battery reporting. 
Let's see how far and how come you aren't? Let's see where they're firing at first. High shots, high arcs. Okay, if these guys bug down then. Okay, halt. Okay, you engage you can engage infantry but not artillery. Okay. Oh there you go. If you destroy one gun team. These guys are looking unhappy. Did they get That's brilliant. <laughs> Here's a unit of proper line infantry. You need to beef up, beef yourself up, Piper. You're getting you're getting outdone. There we go. One of the gun teams is routing. So let's send my artillery to target the other. Cavalry charge. Not far off it. Oh, was that another gun team? It was indeed. Cavalry charge for my guns, so have them both target this unit of light dragoons. Let's run one of my Light Dragoons into position to cover. Okay, so let's get these guys engaged in counter battery. See, how is your range so big? Flank, go for their artillery as well. So what I want to do based on their attack axis is actually do this. Let's get my life up onto this hill. Move this unit of cavalry in reserve to the rear. Lots of militia. See, my artillery is winning. Oh, that's because oh, that's six pound. This is nine pounders. Keep my nine pounders firing. Hold my infantry just slightly in the defilade over the ridge. Oh, well, they're running up now. Good, these guys have moved their axis in. Oh, they charged with their light dragoons, but fortunately my infantry are just brilliant. Let's get those muskets reloaded, man. They've reformed. Let's 
Let's get my six pounder to start engaging. No, not canister yet. Six pounder doing start engaging their infantry. This artillery can still be quite liberal and keep cut time well, not liberal, but you know, keep hitting their artillery. Well, the nine pounder will. The six pounder. You may as well continue. Start hitting the Van Waldeck regiment. Let's run them up to the hill. Let's run these guys to here. With my Highland foot. Oh yeah, the cavalry tried it again. Run this infantry unit out to go hit this unit of militia because they are. Oh no, they're not isolated. There's militia in the trees. Yeah, I missed you there. Six pounder. Switch cast shot. Start opening up on this unit of line infantry when they get in position. More line infantry load unloading onto their troops. My light infantry are going to get the first shots off on this militia. There we go, and here comes the, the first battle lines. Let's just bring my cavalry up. The cavalry can still hit this militia, because these guys will be tied down by fighting to their front. Let's have a look at some line infantry in action. Go the all the fire by rank right from off the bat. Same as Empire, only goes back three ranks. And light his ass charging through the forest into the militia that cannot form. This line infantry unit is looking like they're going to try to position to support them. So it's King's German Legion, the 11th German Legion. Nope, they formed line square, sorry, to uh, receive cavalry. More than happy to leave them alone. The left flank is progressing admirably. Let's get my six pounder down to fire canister into the Van Waldeck regiment. My light infantry are firing away, firing devastating volleys into the Munich militia. Keep my cavalry running around. So they hit my Highland Foot units. Let's run my cavalry back because they've deployed their cavalry in response. Keep running, keep running, she's <laughs> the dots chasing the dots. Let's charge in. Then let's deploy the line infantry like this. Because it will not be needed. Engage their joint like Dragoon unit. Shame. So let's get more like Dragoons into the fight. Should have been firing canister shot with my guns from the get go, but I did not because I was a fool. And they are missing. that it's over on this flank fair enough in which case then hold my light dragoons back let's 
it's, this is a big cocktail of militia, so I might be able to lose some of my artillery, but it won't be critical. Well, actually, I want to do this. Then run these guys up in position here. You form square. You run into them. Revolutionary Guard run here, hold the line. St start rolling up the flank. Because you were supposed to form square, but you did not. Our men are running for Whereabouts is this? This is in this unit of combat here. Very well. So let's get my cavalry over there to run to hit them. rotate this unit of infantry so they've split my line in half Our men are running, sir. Yeah, that's fair enough you guys were being shot from all angles Can you retreat? Nope, sadly not. Don't want to charge line infantry unformed. It's, it's a bad idea. Our men are running, sir. Yep, yeah, you're in. You're in the meat grinder, well and truly. You guys embark. Fire into the flank of this unit of line infantry. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Infantry. Let's get my dragoons to run around the flank and hit the Shinya line infantry. Ah. Where's Sir Arthur? One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Which one was that? You, the eleventh regiment of foot. Well, get in him. 
You're backed by a unit of King's German Legion. Which have rather nice hats. Let's get the Duke of Wellington involved. May as well. And then this triple speed X, I'm pretty sure that will be the end of it. Is under attack. Not properly. So I do want to continue it. Because it's an enemy army in the field who will then return to uh, their castle, their fort. So I want to wipe them out as much as possible. Especially their line infantry. So what are you? Yeah, you're their line infantry. Yeah, that's all going well. Sir Arthur's going to mow down their militia. Gain lots of lovely experience with it. Delicious. Can't even see where I have. Three men remaining. That's the rest of their unit. And these, guys, these guys have no one to target, so they're going to go for go for that gun team. There is a bunch of guys here. Sir Arthur's doing an absolute beastly job. Considering these are a bunch of just staff officers, but you like to think these are some of these are experienced cavalry commanders and you know all sorts. No, don't want to kill that militia unit. Oh, do I? I think I do. May as well. Then the last the remnants remaining are these infantry units. Well, then these six guys. Chop, 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 chop. Close victory because he got a bit dodgy in the middle. A few moments think, uh-oh. The left flank's gone. Let's form the right and carry on going. So, yeah. Not a bad exchange ratio. I want to have a look at battle statistics. Who got the most kills? My light dragoons, lots of my foot units. Basically, my whole army just generally got up a few uh, experience levels. Obviously, Wellington, 191 kills. Okay, so they are reforming. Liverpool's been blockaded by a bunch of junk. Although it did take a lot of losses. Get him, get him back on, get him back aboard. And hope they don't... Eh. So, where's my... Where are my respective fleets? So I've got Wellington here, not Wellington, Nelson here, and I've got, okay, George Elfston, go knock out that frigate. Nelson, you go escort Wellington's fleet. Another 32 gun frigate. Get him in port. Let's get some repairs on the go. Get a manufactory, get some easy... Well, no, do I want a manufactory or do I want... I do love infrastructure upgrades, just in general. I do love them. But yes, yeah, so I want to get Wellington back, because that was a hell of a hefty loss. I can understand why people start to go for these sort of places now. Because at least <laughs> it's something you can capture um, and reinforce from. Oh, no, Nelson, you get... You get come on. I missed an opportunity there to... Well, no, I know what I'll do. Let's take William Cornwallis and sail him into La Havre just to disrupt recruitment of that frigate. Excellent. But yes, I need to... I need to capture a town. That's what I need to do on continental Europe before I can advance. But anyway, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed my first land battle and 
Again, uh, I might seem pretty stupid playing this game, but it's mainly because I've not really played it and I'm not super experienced with it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.